Now, a lot of my videos feature oak trees because where I live in California, oaks are the prominent native species, especially in the hillsides where I do a lot of my work. And you can see behind me, it's just a, a natural grove of natural trees that are established. But people like to live in these areas and oftentimes the construction around these oak trees causes irreparable damage, long-term problems, and uh, sometimes underground severing of roots. Some of these things cannot be easily identified. So you have to do the best you can at, uh, sometimes it's a guess. So once again, is my tree safe? That's the question. This is a valley oak. It's a Quercus lobata. I speak about this tree quite a bit. It's a fairly common tree in our area. And you can see by this rip here that a long time ago, a big limb ripped out of this tree and tore all the way down. Well, the question about safety now comes to what's left of this uh, Latiparus, it's a, a sulfur conch. Uh, it's, a, um, it's a mushroom that grows on wood. It's a saprophytic mushroom and it's an indicator of decay. Now the question is, how bad is it? Now looking around the tree, I looked up and I'm going to invest in another area where another big limb ripped off and tore all the way down. And it's kind of interesting because it looks like it was cut off by somebody that didn't know what they were doing. They started cutting from the top and it tore all the way down and ripped the whole limb out. That's my guess based upon you know, the, the way the rip looks from the top there. So anyway, um, what we've got here is, I'm guessing it's it's another Latiparus. It, doesn't show the same yellow coloration as this lower one, but the fact that you've got an upper decay pocket that spreads down through the trunk and leads all the way down to this lower area, and you can see the, the line on the trunk. I'm thinking that this whole trunk is either rotting out or partially hollow. So that brings me back to the same question. How dangerous is this? Now let's look at the lean. I don't see uh, this tree having an excessive amount of weight on it. And all the branches that were going off to the right are non-existent. They didn't develop because of competition. So the tree is throwing a lot of counterbalance weight out this way. And that's a good thing. That means that the tree is sort of trying to balance itself out a bit. So I'm up looking at this a little bit closer. And there's a lot of curling, so there's a lot of active, healthy tissue on this tree. But I'm sure the inside of this tree is rotten. And you know what? I think I'm going to harvest this in. It's going to be my dinner. Latiparus sulfurus, often called chicken of the woods. So that brings me to the next valley oak adjacent to it. And once again, we have a large wound here from an old rip. There was no chainsaw work involved. I'm going to say as low as that is, that was probably the work of a, a construction vehicle, a truck or something that came through and hit the, the limb and just ripped it off. It was quite a few years ago, probably 25, 30 years ago, maybe more. So the question about this tree is how safe is this tree? Well, when I look up into the upper canopy, I see that there's a fair amount of foliage up there. So it's looking pretty decent. This side over here is looking pretty good. There's a little bit of dead wood. Uh, but I don't recommend any weight reduction on this side at all. Now, we've got this lower limb here. And if we look at the decay over on this side and this main union, there is a possibility of there being a weakness that goes over to this side. Let's look at the other side of the trunk. And there is, you got to pay attention to these things. It looks like a healed up piece of wood, but this is actually an area that was compartmentalized over an old wound. And you don't know what's underneath that. Usually they grow over, but they don't seal up and, and prevent internal decay. So this is very likely 
an area of decay that may be connecting with the other side. So because this limb is so long and goes out so far, I think I have to recommend some weight reduction because the tree is imbalanced to begin with. So decisions about what to do to a tree have really got to have good justification. Now when I look at the base of this tree, you see how it kind of goes abruptly into the ground? I'm going to guess that this tree has had a grade change. I'm going to guess that, that the, the dirt has been pushed up around the base of it. Usually on a tree that is more natural that you'll see kind of a flare right at the base where the where the, the buttress roots develop and it goes from trunk to root wood but when they go abruptly into the ground that is often an area where basal crown rot can develop because trunk wood is different than than root wood you know root wood will tolerate being in the ground where trunk wood if it's got dirt piled around it it'll stay wet for years and years and years and you'll develop the basal crown rod around the base of the tree under the ground and you won't even know that it, something's going wrong. So what this needs is, is this whole area needs to be excavated out and brought back down to the original grade and, and left to dry out. So I'm going to make that recommendation to her as well. And looking over to the other tree you can see more of a natural flare. You see how it flares all the way around? There may be a little bit of additional fill here, but because there was a cutout and a driveway put in, the contractors very likely uh, changed the grade a bit for this, uh, this tree over on the right. But this decay is always gonna be a problem. So at this point, uh, I think I have to make the recommendation to leave well enough alone and, and watch for a decline in the health of the tree uh, rather than being overly concerned about the tree falling apart. I don't see there being an excessive amount of weight. I don't see anything on the base of the tree that worries me. I do see a hollowing and that will ultimately lead to the decline of the tree, but you know that, that could take a decade or more. So I think this is a case of just let it be. Sounds like a song. Let it be, oh, let it be. Let, let it be, oh, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. All right, James Corden, I am not, and I won't give up my day job. But please give me a like, not for the singing, of course. <laughs> But I do appreciate all the comments and I appreciate all the uh, thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, that's how I make it grow. So um, I'm trying. Thank you.